You suck at Genji, and it's not your honor's fault. Now, now, I know what you're thinking, that you're really good at Genji, and it's just the, your teammates. You, you, you're... Uh, I promise, it's my teammates that are bad. Listen to me. I know I'm only high plat. Yeah, yeah, make fun of me if you're above me. But I've been in the gunky. I've been in the smelly. I know how it is down there. And you don't know what you're doing. And I do. So listen to me. Listen. Listen to me. This video will solve all your problems. All of them. Now, come on. I know about the rank thing. Would you rather trust me or someone who <laughs> looks like this? <laughs> Before we get into the nitty gritty, I'd like to share this one piece of crucial advice. If you take nothing else from this video, take this and apply it to any character, any game. Be confident. You know what you're doing. Play like you're the main character. You're the boss. Kill them. I'd like to read an excerpt from the legendary Lord of Love Quest himself. Christian. This was in regards to a female troll complimenting him. I've read my accent was a featured, favorited feature. I rarely thought my voice was that alluring, although in my honest opinion, it sounds more like a direct match to Sonic the Hedgehog from the classic and the Sonic X series games and shows all starting from Sonic Adventure. And when singing, I can have a Frank Sinatra or a Bing Crosby flavor. Now, if you have any sort of knowledge of Chris Chan, you know this is blatantly false. <laughs> you need to play with this unparalleled deranged level of confidence in your own abilities. Otherwise, you're going to buckle and cower and piss yourself everywhere. All at the enemy playing like a bot. Are you gonna be poking? Are you gonna be diving? You need to decide which that of those things you wanna do based on your opponent. If they're being really good and they hit their shots a lot, mainly just go for poking until you see someone kinda peel off and, you know, get screwed. Is the Ana duo killed with an ash that's smoking dick? Can you not get your nano blade? Beg very nicely and maybe you'll get the nano, otherwise you just need to figure out your own plan and just peel back for healing as much as you can. When deciding who you're gonna target, it really just depends fight by fight. Most of the time you wanna do support, sometimes you're gonna focus on DPS, very rarely you're gonna focus on tank. I would say only take a fight if you're 80% sure or more you're gonna win, or you should win, to focus yourself to practice that matchup. I don't care if it's comp, I don't care if it's quick play, you're not gonna get practice doing that matchup unless you take that fight. If you're not diving, make sure you're poking with your primary fire at long ranges, just keep it on somebody that's peeking out, like you got an ash up top in the back just keep throwing those shurikens in that corner and she will eventually either move or get triple headshot and then you can uh maybe do something with that it just depends your right click you should really only be using it if there's a huge crowd of people right in front of you so you can get some multiple hits in or when you're in somebody's face think of it like you have an assault rifle in your left hand and you have a shotgun in your right hand really up close you really just want to only be using the shotgun and then from far away a shotgun's not gonna do fucking anything so you're gonna use your uh assault rifle except your assault rifle is a nerf gun that only tickles your opponent and your shotgun is so good that if you're a toddler missing every single one of your shots as long as mercy's rump is taking up like 50 percent of your screen before you even think about pressing right click you're probably gonna hit every single shuriken and get a ton of value off that As far as Genji's dash goes, you want to be using it between everything. You're firing in someone's face, you want to dash. You're getting into a fight, you want to dash in as long as you have deflect on cooldown. Uh, you're deflecting in their face, you want to dash afterwards to secure the kill if it, something hits them. You're dashing, you want to dash afterwards to get out. You want to dash before you start blade. You want to dash during your blade and you want to dash to get out after blade. You all, dash is your bread and butter for everything. You need it for everything and that is why it goes off cooldown every time you contribute to a kill. And now I'm just gonna go over some general matchups with some humor that I know I would appreciate. I try to stay away from him unless he's in unless somebody's in with me, because otherwise Hey man, you need to sit your motherfucking ass. You're gonna wanna fish the fuck out of those fire strikes and make his entire team eat them. Humble that motherfucker! Let him know you're the GOAT! Shit on him! Kill him! You're better! 
Just don't fight them. Get somebody to help you or back out. Just never let any beam characters near you because you're gonna have an awful time. Awful, awful time. And everyone's picking Symmetra right now, so just queue with a tank or have a support help you. Some don't fight beam characters. <laughs> Your ideal combat route, I kind of went over this earlier, but you want to throw your shurikens at somebody, you get a, a some sort of damage, you dash in, you spin around, and you hit more shurikens, maybe throw in a melee at the end, and secure your kill. If you get the kill, you want to decide if you are half health and you want to dash out instead, just dash straight back towards your team, I promise it'll be far enough and then uh, you can use deflect to keep walking out if you don't have it or you can continue to apply pressure if things are looking good someone jumped with you etc etc if someone's in the back line like a fucking sim or a moira just run away it's better you play your life back up get another engagement in like 10 seconds than feed into a symmetra that is an ape brain at wm1 nothing going on up there then getting out and you know say hey Winston, help me jump on this piece of shit play your life As far as blades goes, beg for Nano. Pull out the heart souvenir for that mercy. Get them to swap to Ana and keep flattering them so you get Nano every single time. Cause one slash and one dash kills for a Nano. Otherwise it takes two slashes and that halves the amount of stuff you can do with Nano. It makes it infinitely harder to get more than like two or three kills if you're lucky. It can still win a fight with just no Nano, but you know, you're worth we're trying to make it easy, right? Beg for Nano. Blade will reset all your cooldowns, including your, like, uh, reloading. So you can dash up in the air, make it easier for your Ana to hit you. Empty your clip before, too, why not? Uh, Blade will reset all that, and then you can dash in after you get the Nano and you pull out your Blade. And then you that helps you get into a position that your team, the other team's not really going to be able to predict. Don't just fucking W key forward, dash up at a 45 degree angle, and then get a uh, fucking Nano because what's going to happen, the Ana and the other team's going to know exactly where you're going. They're going to telegraph everything you're doing and snipe you out of the air with a sleep dart. And you're going to feel embarrassed. You're going to cover your face and cry and piss when you're sleeping on the ground in front of the enemy team. They're going to kill you and then your Ana's never going to nano you again. Another quick tip, if you climb up the wall as you're putting the sword away when the timer hits zero, you won't have that long ass sword putting away animation that makes you as vulnerable as a worm. The smaller window of time, but being able to shoot faster will save your life because you are completely helpless when you're putting your sword up. For your own sake, so you don't embarrass yourself every time you think about blading or diving, or just track the enemy abilities. It's a lot easier with teammates to talk to because you have more eyes and ears to call abilities that will hinder your epic playmaking. But you're never going to have everything memorized. Just remember the important ones that you need to focus on. Like Suzu, Sleep, Shatter, Transcendence, Zarya's Bubbles, Moira and Reaper's Wraith, Life Weaver's Platform, Life Cramp, anti turret both of these cooldowns, Sentry, Forward Hook, Forward Javelin, Rock, Night, Grenade. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that will fucking shut you down instantly compared to other characters. But you know, you're better. Yeah, you weren't expecting this section, were you, bitch? Your skin does matter! It will affect how you play. Now, here are the skins that will make you better. I'm just listing these ones off. Carbon Fiber, Nihon, Skeleton, Street Runner, Oni, Bahu, Bushi, Sentai, Red and Green, Kendoa, Eladon, Divine Monkey, and 2018 Pacific All-Stars. Now, here's the skins that make you play worse and why they make you play worse. All of the default skins. You're a broke bitch, you stink. If you're wearing this shit unironically and you think you're better, you are a fucking dork. Chrome, personally, I don't like it. It looks like a spatula with yellow lights. <laughs> Any of the Overwatch League default skins, you're a shill if you own these. Shane High Dragons is not gonna plug you. Take off this skin, take off. <laughs> default legendaries, they're dumb and they're oldest hits. You wasted your credits. Demon, budget Oni. I'm sorry you missed out on playing fake League of Legends and couldn't get the cooler version. Black Watch, ugh. Broke your Shadow the Hedgehog. You think you're cool? You're 14! Go do your homework! Karasu Tengu, it has weird furry bird, bird feet. I don't like it. Ice Wraith, this one, this one is actually pay to lose. Your deflect will take up your entire screen. Like, look how fucking big this sword is. Genos? Look at this dude. Ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> and then happy is mid. 
In conclusion, I know everything about Genji, and I'm the perfect medium of... I'm not a sweaty GM player that all of my advice doesn't apply to lower ranks, and I'm not bottom of the barrel cash trash can bringing around in a circle a uh, shitty stupid silver player. I'm in the middle. I'm not the best. I'm certainly good. I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. Take this video to heart. Like, subscribe.